Okay, coming off the main line, I put insulated rail joiners in here. And all my problems went away. The train runs fine through all of this. Well, except for this one. I haven't tried this one. I guess I should try that one. Uh, but over there in that yard over there, train runs fine. All the uh, shorts went away. No more faults. Uh, the train runs around on the main line. Comes down off of this turnout into over there and then back on. Runs through that turnout. This one. I haven't tried this one yet. I guess I should do that. Then I get back over here. And of course, I hit this frog past my insulators and the train dies on this frog. But I can run it all the way around the other way and back through here and it runs fine until it gets to about right here. And it probably because I'm so far away from the wiring that, uh, you know, I don't have it all wired over here. Push it back to here and it starts power again. I tried going down in here and I stop on all these turnouts. So, you know, there's probably not enough power there because I only have a few wires hooked up. So I'll have to wire these in. So I'm not even sure if I need the AR1, but uh, anyway, they're on the way. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, other than that, I took uh, the uh, rail joiners, the insulated rail joiners I had in this Y. I took those out, and uh, I did test this track, but I didn't test this siding here. Uh, I'll do that, but I have 15 amps on all these tracks. With the power on, 15 amps all over. I tested the back of the Zephyr, the wires going out, and it is at 15 amps. And once I insulated this turnout coming off the main line, I got all that went away. And I got 15 amps all the way from here, clear around the other side. So... We're stepping in the right direction. Thanks for all everybody's help.